hey, what's up? So I turned 36 in a couple of days. And it's kind of crazy to me because I always thought 36 was super old, right? I remember when my cousin turned 37 and in my head, I was like 29. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe she's 37. But yeah, it's like you're like three or four years away from 40, like really deep in your 30s. And yeah, it just feels like you're really old when you're 36. But the weird thing is, I actually don't feel that old. I actually feel like I felt older when I turned 30 or 33 than I do when I turned 36. And I think the reason for that is because when you turn 30, a certain number of things happen to you. Like you become more unathletic, right? Your body starts hurting. You can't really hang anymore. You start seeing your friends a lot less. Uh, you know, you have different priorities. And a lot of things happen to you that are, are not great. Like things become less fun. I made a whole video on it. Uh, you can watch that. But when you're 30, you don't really expect that to happen. It just happens to you all at once. But then when you're 36, you're kind of like, oh, it's been happening for a number of years now. I'm already used to it and nothing has really changed that much. So the, the gap between expectation and reality is actually not that far off. And that's why I feel pretty good. I actually, I actually feel kind of young uh, at 36. Um, but I thought it'd be helpful if I gave you a few tips um, for people that maybe aren't 36 yet. And there's a few things I thought might be helpful to bring up. I think none of these are new ideas. I'm sure you've thought about them before, but hopefully it's a good reminder uh, to you. But let's say at any age you're at right now, I think there's a time and a place for an age, right? So for example, the way I'm thinking about it is like, when I was in my 20s, there's a lot of things that you could do in your 20s that you probably wouldn't do in your 30s. But the thing is, when you're in your 20s, you don't really expect these things to end, right? So like, for example, traveling with friends or partying late at night, staying up late, going on to these events, right? And doing these lot of things that are really made for your 20s, where you have less responsibility, your body can hang more. But when you're going through those, at least for me, I was always like, yo, I should work harder and I save more money. I don't want to spend all this money. And luckily, my girlfriend at the time, or my friends or whatever, like my, my girlfriend at the time, my wife now, I just want to be careful, <laughs> be clear about that. But my friends or whatever, they always, they always pushed me to, to do things. And I always did them and I never regretted it. Right. And looking back, I'm like really happy I did those things because at this age, like you just don't really want to do them anymore. Like you don't have the energy. You're actually more worried about stuff. Like you don't have that fearless things. Like, like my, my wife backpacked when she was 27 by herself for three months. Like she would never do that now. Uh, but th there's a lot of things that are made for a certain time in your life. And if you don't do it at that time in your life, I'm not saying you can never do it. I'm just saying like, it's not the same and it's going to pass you up. So don't let it pass you up. I uh, hope, I hope, hope that makes sense. And I'm not saying like, Hey, if you're older, you can't do stuff. I'm just saying like, there's a certain time in your life where things are more things that need to be done where you can be unresponsible, like irresponsible. So if you're going through that time right now, just, just do it, just do it. Don't worry about money or don't worry about whatever. Just do it. The memories are going to be worth it. Um, the second thing I want to talk about briefly is I think as you get older, you start to realize um, not everything is good and not everything is bad, right? Or I guess things are not all good or all bad, right? I think when you're younger, you kind of think about things more black and white. Like I, this happened to me. It was good. I like it. This happened to me. It was bad. I don't like it, right? And, you know, you're like, I want to become, you know, a CEO. I want to be, I want to have a mansion. I want to drive a fancy car. I want this. I want that. I want this, right? And you're just kind of like wanting things, but you're not really thinking about the trade-off to get there, right? So then I think when you get a little bit older, you start realizing, oh, I actually don't want that because I don't want the things that come with that, right? But you're only thinking about one section of it. But if you can start thinking about the whole thing, I think you're able to be a lot more happier with your own life and it's, you're able to not be as jealous about things, right? Like if you see something with something that you want, you get a little jealous. I wish I had this, but then you don't really think about the, the bullshit that person has to deal with for, for having that thing. So the, the, if you can just kind of focus on the fact that not everything is good, 100% good, 100% bad, and depending on the situation, you got to think about the bad as well as the good, then I think it'll be easier for you as you get older to be happy with your life because you know there's a lot of good things about your life that you need to focus on just don't don't focus on things that you don't have and the last thing i think is relevant to getting older is time goes by really fast but it also goes by really slow like so for example i still remember college like it was yesterday right and that was like what 14 years ago for me um but it, it 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 happened 14 years ago, but I still remember like it was yesterday. So like these past 10, 14 years, whatever, 15 years, passed by really quickly, right? So I'm assuming the next 15 years are going to pass by very quickly as well. 
So every day just goes by, you know, it's like, it's almost, almost like it's January and all of a sudden it's June, all of a sudden it's December, it's all January again, right? And the older you get, the every year is like less percent of your life. So it goes faster and faster. Um, so like my point is like, you, you probably should try your best not to waste your time because everything that you do stacks, like everything you do right now, whatever you try, you, you learn is stacks and you can, you can grow exponentially. Um, so you want to make sure you don't waste your time because things go by really fast. At the same time, things will, things actually go by really slow as well. And what I mean by that is like you can actually change your life. You can change the traje- traje- trajectory of your life in a really short period of time. Like within three months, you can probably be a completely different person if you really try at it, right? So, so yeah, you your life is short because you have it goes it goes out really fast, but it's also really long. So you can actually stack you know habits and stack things every day and just like make a pretty significant change in a pretty short amount of time. So, hope you found those things helpful. And then I guess another thing that I'll throw in there, maybe a fourth thing, is age is really just a number. You really, you're really as old as you believe you are, right? So, like, if you if you think you can't do things because of age, it's really a self limiting belief. Um, so, yeah, just as long as you believe you can do it, you can do it, and you should try for it. So, I guess those are the four things I think would be helpful. That's my birthday gift to you, even though it's my birthday. And and yeah, and I think I I was thinking about this, and I want to take my own advice and. I think one of the f- first videos where I started getting a lot of comments, I remember someone wrote in there, they were, write, they were writing like, hey, you should start a Discord channel. And I was like, oh, I don't really know what that is. Like, does that mean I have to manage it? Like, what if I started a channel and no one joined? Like, what would I even talk about? And then like, I had a lot of like thoughts about why I shouldn't do it. And a lot of it was like, hey, either one, I don't want to do the work or two, I, I was worried that no one would join it. And I, I would like look like a failure if I try to start one and no one would join, right? But I think those are two things in my mind, mostly. And I was thinking about it last week and I was like, hey, you know what? I should just do it. And I actually want to do it because I think a lot of people message me about stuff and they, hey, can you make a video on this? Can you make a video on that? And some of the things are like kind of small where I don't, I don't know if I make a whole video on it. Uh, but then there's also a lot of people I feel like can benefit from talking to each other, not just me. So I figured I will start a Discord channel and just see what happens. And if it doesn't work out, hey, it doesn't work out. But if it, if it does work out, then great. I actually tried to do it. And, and yeah, so I'm making a Discord channel. Uh, I'll put the link somewhere. Uh, I've sent out an email uh, today, but I realized I sent, the wrong, I sent the wrong link out and I can only email everyone once a day. So I'll, I'll uh, send out another email later. But if you want to join my Discord, it's going to be linked somewhere on my channel. And I wanted to charge like a dollar to join just so it wouldn't have a lot of random people in it. But then the minimum amount I could charge is $3. And I was that $3 is kind of a lot. So right now it's free. Um, to join, but that might change in the future. I'm not really sure uh, how that will work. But yeah, uh, my goal for this channel is just for people to talk about you know stuff related to like finances or or startups or you know really about self improvement. I think mentality is really important, and then uh, like relationships, friendships, and also like dating relationships. I feel like would be good topics. But yeah, I appreciate if you join and just say hello. And yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.